Hey YouTube, Genuine Article Comics here. Um, I have a, another video here for you. I'm going to be doing my top 20 slabbed books. I just did a top 25, I don't know, a month or so ago. Um, I got some stuff back from uh, CGC and CBCS and, 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 and a couple of purchases. Um, so it'll change it up a little bit. Um, um, some of it will be the same though, for sure. Some of the books, but some of them, of course, are going to be different as well. So, um, let's start here. So top 20. And so here is my number 20. <clears throat> so this is major victory comics. Uh, number one, was one that I sent in to, um, to CGC and it came back as restored, which was, uh, disappointing for me. Um, um, but not too bad considering this is a golden age era book and, um, a little bit more forgiving on the golden age, uh, books that have restoration on it. Um, the restoration on this one is, is, is slight to moderate to B2. Um, and it does say there that it's got a small amount of color touch and there's some, uh, pieces and, and, and tear seals, those kinds of things. But, um, major victory comics, number one, um, one of a very few golden age era books that I, I have, um, the vast majority of my comic books are definitely silver age. So here you go. That's number 20. <clears throat> um, Number 19. Number 19 is New Gods number one, 7.0. And, and the reason why this is making uh, um, the list is because it is, it is a verified signature on Jack Kirby, um, who is absolutely um, a legend. So, uh, as we all know. Um, so, yeah, New Gods, first appearance of Orion and All Father and Light Ray and Calabac and all those guys. Um, but yeah, verified signature of Jack Kirby. That one actually probably should have been number 18, and this one probably should have been number 19. But this one is, um, it's Captain America Comics number one, but this is like from 2009. Um, it's, it's a 70th anniversary, but again, the reason why this one is on the list as well is because this one is a verified signature of Joe Simon. So, you know, Joe Simon, Jack Kirby created, um, Captain America. Jack Kirby is, 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 is my all time favorite artist and writer, uh, for comic books. So I should have interchanged that, um. But that's okay. Joe Simon is uh, very much deserving as well. So, legends. But there you go. That's number 18. So, number 17. So, number 17 is... What are we going to do here? Okay. So, Incredible Hulk, 180, 7.5. Um, of course, cameo appearance. Cameo appearance of, uh, of uh, Wolverine. Great book, be awesome if he was on the cover, but we know we know which one he's on the cover of. But uh, so yeah, cameo appearance. There you go. So this is number, I guess number sixteen. Same book, slightly higher grade, eight point oh. Um, so that where that's where that one sits on my list. There, there you go. Okay, so what do we got here? So number 15 here, uh, so number 15 is going to be Avengers number 4, 3.0, first Silver Age appearance of Captain America. Amazing book, great classic cover, um, Jack Kirby cover, gotta love that, that's number 15 there. Number 14 is Fantastic Four. Number four, uh, first Silver Age Submariner. This one is incomplete. It's a point five. Um, it's missing page 12, which is an advertisement page. So the art and story is not affected. Um, really the only point fives that I'll buy Unless, of course, you know, depending on the book and if the price is right, right? Like if there's an Amazing Fantasies 15 and it's missing a page that has the art on it, but the price is right, of course. But generally speaking, um, I won't buy an incomplete book 
unless it's a book that I really want and it's a page that is not art, that is impact. But ideally, you want them complete. All right, there you go. And then we have Avengers number four again, but this is a 4.0, so higher grade. Um, same classic cover. Brilliant. Okay. What are we at now? Number 12. So number 12 is a Fantastic Four number 48. So this is a, a 5.5. Of course, this is the first appearance of Silver Surfer and the cameo appearance, first appearance of uh, Galactus, of course. And uh, again, classic, classic Kirby, classic Stan Lee. Brilliant book. Number 12. So number 11. This is new. This is a new one. This is Green Lantern number one. Um, so it's the second series. Uh, uh, the origin of Green Lantern is retold, and this is the first appearance of the Guardians of the Universe. So this is um, second series. Hal Jordan. Um, well, the first with Hal Jordan, but the second Green Lantern series and Green Lantern number one, 4.5. Creamed off white pages. Presents really well. Really like the book. That's number, what, number 11, I think that was. So, number 10. Sergeant Fury and the Howling Commandos. Um, first appearance, of course, of uh, Sergeant Fury. Uh, 5.0. The White Pages is what really got my attention on this book. The book is from, what, 1963? And, um, yeah, just a wonderful book. Fantastic. I like that. So, this is, what, number nine... Number nine. So number nine is Strange Tales 110. <clears throat> First appearance of Doctor Strange. The Ancient One, Nightmare and Wong as well. And uh, it's the first time Pace Pot Pete and uh, the Wizard team up. So that's pretty significant as well, for sure. <laughs> um, it's amazing how how this book would probably be more if Doctor Strange was actually on the cover instead of Pace Pot Pete and the Wizard. But great book. First Doctor Strange. It's amazing. <clears throat> Giant Size X Men, number one, 6.0. A lot of first appearances in here Storm, Colossus, Nightcrawler, Thunderbird. Second appearance, I think. Of Wolverine, or second full appearance, full appearance, if more correctly, what it is. Classic cover, of course. Gil Kane, brilliant. Great book. There you go. And then, of course, we have Hulk 181, 4.5, first full appearance of Wolverine. You know, it's a must-have in everyone's collections. Great book. Everyone's always on the hunt for that one. Arguably, you know, almost as Wolverine, almost as popular as Spider-Man. Maybe not quite there, but in all of the Marvel comics, he's probably number two. I would say Spider-Man is number one. He's probably number two. Wolverine. There you go. And then a return. I got a few duplicates of some stuff, but this is Fantastic Four number 48. This is a 6.0. So slightly higher grade than the other one. 5.5 was the other one. This one's 6.0. Again, first Silver Surfer, first cameo of Galactus. There you go. Let's get there. And then we have Daredevil number one. 
I've always liked Daredevil for sure. This is 1964, 4.0. This is off-white. Um, first appearance of Daredevil for sure. Blind superhero. Love the costume in this one with the yellow and red. Number seven, he changes to all red. But, um, yeah, can't go wrong. Love this one. <clears throat> okay. So this is what, number 17? Or I should say, sorry, number four. Counting down. So this is number four. Um, Giant Size X-Men number one returns. This is a higher grade, 7.0. Another classic for sure. There you got that one. So number three, what do we have for number three? Number three is going to be Incredible Hulk 181 makes another return. This is a 6.0. The other one I had was uh, the other one was a 4.5. This is 6.0. Again, classic for sure. So number two, this is a one I got recently, so number two, that is Avengers number one, Off-White Pages 4.0 CGC, first appearance of the Avengers. Love that book, so happy to get it when I got it. Uh, amazing stuff. And then number one in my collection is the X-Men number one, which is 3.5, off-white to white pages, and this is the first appearance of a lot of people here, a lot of characters, um, Professor X, Magneto, Cyclops, Marvel Girl, Angel, you know, Origin of the X-Men. Great book. Great book. Classic cover. I love it. Anyways, that's it uh, for now, and... Um, Again, I still have some books over at CGC, CBCS that are going to be coming in. Just take, It takes a while with these grading companies for sure. Um, I think in total I have I think about 18 books, 19 books that are there between the two of them. Um, and uh, when they come back, I'll, 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 I'll shoot a video of those. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for uh, staying subscribed and, and watching. And if you have any questions, you know where to put them in the video down below. And uh, thank you so much for sticking around. Take care, guys.